G'day viewers, another short video to try and show you the basics of Janus. We're starting again in the lobby, in the start area. I'm moving my head with my mouse, as you can see I can move around. Then I use the WSAD keys to move left, right, backwards and forwards. So it's left, right, backwards, forwards. The next one is the F key, F for fly. If you press F, you'll fly. If you look up and press W, you'll fly up. Look down, press F, you'll fly down. Press F again. Flight mode will be deactivated. The next one I'm going to demonstrate is the VoIP. You press left alt to talk or V. Yeah. I'll talk to these guys. G'day fellas, how are you going? Chilling. Just talking about this uh, little mouse here, I think. Cool. <laughs> As you can see, when you press left alt, speaking comes up on screen. See you fellas. Do you have your iPad? Oh, GG man. Now, the next one we're going to demonstrate is the tab. You can press tab and does a few different things. If we press tab, we can type in a web address. If the room doesn't have a Janus room attached, it'll just generate into this default room and it'll put the web, the web page up on here. So as you can see, and these are usable web surfaces. The other way is, come back out of there, press left click to shut the door, is we press tab, delete everything in here with backspace, and we type in a search term. We'll search for cats. That will put that into DuckDuckGo and it'll come back with the search results. Making sure you left click on a portal to open it. So cats automatically puts in there. Okay, the next one I'm going to demonstrate is F9, F11. If you press F9, it'll go into windowed mode. If you press F11, it'll go full screen. So F9 for windowed, F11 for full screen. The next one I'll demonstrate is the escape button. You press escape, it comes up with the escape menu. I'll have a whole episode about that on another day. Press escape again, it disappears. Okay, the next one we're going to demonstrate is backspace. You press backspace, it'll reload the room and you'll start back at the entrance portal where you entered. So that's backspace. The next one I'm going to demonstrate is T for text chat and C for chat log. So if we press C, it brings up our chat log so we can see what everybody's typing. Then we press, so we can turn that either on or off by pressing C. Then if we press T, this is the text chat box. So anything we type in here will come up in the chat log. Also, it hovers above my head so other people can see who's talking. There it is on the chat log. Okay, the next one we're going to do is we're going to go into the sandbox and demonstrate how to right-click on objects and manipulate them. So we'll come through into here. Now, this room is unlocked so we can pick up anything in the room and move it around and do what we like. So right-click on an object. I'm going to press W to make it go up, S to make it go down, D and A. Okay, now we can change the snap so we can make it move faster or slower. If you press the number 1 on your keyboard, that'll go to snap 1, which is 1 meter, 2, 3 and 4. As you can see, it gets smaller in increments between 1 and 4, 4 being the smallest, 1 being the largest. Okay, you press left click to confirm and it will stay there. So I'll demonstrate that again. I right click on an object, I manipulate it. Now if I don't press, if I press right, if I right click, it'll go back to where it began. But if I move it and I left click, it'll stay there. So that's that way. Now you right click on an object and you can press tab to cycle through the choices. The first one is position. We've demonstrated how we move that one around. Press tab again. This one is X der, Y der, Z der. This uh, is the rotation of the object. So I'll press 2, make it rotate slowly. 3, may take a lot slower. And we can rotate it in any... And remembering, if we left click, if we only right click, it'll, rot it'll go back to where it started. So you have to left click to make sure it stays. Okay, so press position, tab, scale. Scale's the next one. We can scale up any way we like. Left click to stay. Okay, the next one, oops, wrong way, color, we can adjust the color again using the uh, WSAD keys, we can just change the color. The next one, it's collision, using the A and D keys you can turn collision on or off. Next one is lighting, turn lighting on or off. Cull face back, none front, very handy for uh, building rooms. Next one is Blend Source Alpha. You can change this to make objects translucent or transparent. 
Blend Destination, again, more options to make some very cool effects. Draw Order, this is important for putting transparencies or objects in front or behind of each other. And we're back to position. Okay, that's how we manipulate objects. The next one I'm going to show you is F5. If you press F5, it will reload the room and put everything back to where you started. You can't make any permanent changes to these rooms. If anyone else comes in, you can delete everything. Just right click on an object, press delete. You can delete as many of these objects as you want. And then you press F5, reloads the room back how it was. The next one I'm going to demonstrate is how to copy and paste. Right click on a cube. Let's make it up here where we can see it. Let's left click to confirm, right click on the object. Now we press and hold control and then C. So you hold down control while pressing C on the object. Control C. Then you put your mouse down, holding the right mouse button, press control V. Hold control V. You have to make sure you press and hold the right mouse button, then press control V. And that is how you cut and paste and copy. And if we press F5, again, clean the room back up, all back how it was. I think that's about everything. Thanks for watching.